so important. Remember the farmers out there. Yeah. So often we just think about our yards and things out there, but these people are counting on it. So we're counting on them. Yeah, <laughs> some of them getting a little rain today, yeah. and some of them getting just hail and, just and hail. lightning. Yeah. Uh, I want to show you some video. This is not from the storms out west of our hill country today, but this is one of those tornadoes from uh, last Saturday out in North Carolina. This one near Wilson, North Carolina. And I told you all week we were going to talk about some teachable moments from this tornado outbreak. One of them, very, very unfortunate that most people killed in that tornado outbreak were in mobile homes, and many of them just didn't follow simple tornado safety rules, uh, and they lost their lives as a result. And that is the topic today of the weather blog on KXAN.com, uh, tornado safety in mobile homes. And here it is. You can get to it again right under the weather menu. It's the very bottom thing, the uh, weather blog. Uh, we talk about specific safety rules for mobile homes today and uh, essentially you get out of them. You abandon mobile homes. Even in weak tornadoes, mobile homes are dangerous places to be. I put a link to our online severe weather guide which you can download and print. Plus I put more specific information about mobile homes from the Storm Prediction Center today on there too. So check that out, would you? Especially if you live in a mobile home. It's really, really important. All right. On uh, the situation today here locally, we've seen no tornadoes, but we do have a tornado watch in a rather a severe thunderstorm watch. Let me correct myself there. There is a difference between a severe thunderstorm watch and a tornado watch. This is a severe thunderstorm watch until 10 o'clock tonight, and it does include all of our hill country a viewing area, but none of the Austin metro area, at least not yet. Let's go to the storm profiler here. Uh, we are seeing one storm getting wound up around Junction. We're seeing a hook echo on that one. And I say that we're on a severe thunderstorm watch. That doesn't mean you can't have an isolated tornado. And our uh, Viper system, our storm uh, profiler as well, indicating that there's a strong rotation in this storm just to the northwest of the Junction area. I know some of you folks watch us out there in Kimball County around Junction. If you're north of Junction, boy, keep an eye on that storm. It is really hooking up, and I wouldn't be surprised if the uh, National Weather Service issued a tornado warning on that one before too long. But we're not in a real favorable environment for tornadoes today, but they can certainly uh, occur. And as you can see, these storms, they're not making much progress to the east, are they? So uh, you folks in Mason County, uh, keep a close eye out to the west, but uh, there appears to be nothing imminent in your area right now. All right, uh, statistic-wise today, 90 degrees, the high temperature, 89 at ABIA. We're seeing large, powerful thunderstorms because we have a very unusually warm and unstable air mass out there. We're not supposed to be in the 90s this time of year, but we've seen a lot of it lately. And you can see a lot of humidity out there. Uh, it's hanging in the air pretty thick right now, but it may or may not rain at all in Austin tonight. Some of the computer models completely dissipate this stuff after the sun goes down tonight. 88 degrees in the city right now. A little cooler out there in Fredericksburg at 79. 84 in Georgetown. Look at LaGrange there at 91. 88 in the city and 88 out at ABIA. Winds are south southeasterly at 10 to 13 miles per hour. Well, there's your contrast in air masses. Can you see it? 61 to 71. 88, 101 down in Laredo. When you get a cold front in Texas in May, you're generally going to have some thunderstorms. Even though we don't have a lot of upper level support, there's no organized storm system coming in to give these storms lift and create a giant complex of thunderstorms. So that's why we think these, this little cluster could be pretty isolated tonight and kind of fade away after the sun goes down. Uh, sometimes they surprise us, but we'll, we'll see what happens. But right now, the biggest threat certainly lies in the hill country. Our computer model doesn't think much is going to happen in the Austin area at all tonight. And the front lifts northward as a warm front tomorrow, taking rain chances away from us for, uh, well, some time to come. Lows tonight. Uh, still in the low 70s as that front comes down and it starts uh, becoming stationary and then moving back north. So we're not going to get much cooling. We may stay in the 80s tomorrow in some locations. That sounds like relief, right? That's still 10 degrees warmer than average. All right, thunderstorms, they're possible tonight, especially hill country, but we could see them get into the metro area. We're going to have to track these uh, all night long for you. 70 the low, 90 tomorrow's high, low clouds in the morning, then some afternoon sun. All right, let's get to the seven day forecast through Easter Sunday. And after this threat of uh, severe storms tonight, uh, it should be pretty quiet. It should be unseasonably hot all the way through Easter weekend. We don't see any Easter weekend storms. That's kind of rare. Our next chance of showers or thunderstorms will be here on uh, Monday and Tuesday of next week.